Welcome back to Real Fishing 2 The Walkthrough. Today we are heading trout fishing. We are going to a three area lake in the autumn and winter. This is an autumn and winter level. Now I wish I could very easily tell you what the requirements are for passing this level as we look at the description for each of these. Sadly, um, I can't give you a very de definitive answer on that because the manual says that you need to catch one of each of uh, four of the seven species. So one rainbow, one brown, one brook trout, and then one sockeye salmon. I can tell you that is not true. A lot of game facts guides from the early 2000s that are still around on like NeoGAF and GameFAQs and GameSpot, other, other uh, old forums, say that you need to catch one of each species of the seven available in this level. And I can tell you that is not true. Uh, Team Hobnob Channel. Team Hobnob Channel did a uh, duo Let's Play series of this game about 10 years ago that's been quite entertaining. And they sussed out that uh, you need to catch three of each of those species that the manual tells you only need one. So in that way, it's a little bit like the winter inshore fishing. But one thing that I cannot tell you for sure is if you have to get three of each of those plus at least one of the other species. So we could combine all of the guide's advice about where, what you need. Um, but we're looking for, for sure, three of those species that I named before the uh, three kinds of trout plus the sockeye salmon. Um, but then the other ones, the white spotted char, the lake trout, and the hutchin are, uh, I guess, just bonuses. So this is area one. And like most levels that have a wide variety of uh, fishing types, you've got a lot of different choices in your gear here. So you can do fly rod, you can do lures, uh, spinning lures, or you can do the, the live bait or the, the bait, um, bait rod. So different fish, of course, have different preferences. Another thing that you want to be careful about with this one is to check your calendar. Check the date. So this level is open starting in September. I believe it goes September to December or maybe September to January. Um, but not every species of fish is present for every month. The best month that you can go where you're going to likely encounter just about everything is the month of October. Um, as you get into November, that's when some of the fish will disappear. They won't be here anymore. Um, and even if you jump on in September, the, you won't have full access to everything. But I believe October is one month where all of the seven date ranges of the species here overlap. So we're looking at a description of some of the baits. And this is me trying to see, okay, what catches things like rainbows, brooks, browns. I was looking for that in the description of those uh, the material, uh, the baits, not materials. So the, I go with the caster. Caster's a good all-around bait. And uh, let's make a jump here to, to our first bite. We are using the bobber indicator. And this is a rainbow. You are going to catch a lot of rainbow trout in this level. Rainbow trout are very, very common in this level. Um, you're going to bump into a lot of other common ones. Like you're going to see a good number of lake trout. And they, they're kind of tricky to hook. We'll see what that looks like. Um, the other ones are kind of distributed out. Some of the rarer ones are brown trout and hutchin. Brown trout and hutchin are both a little bit on the uh, hard to find side. So, in fact, it took me uh, quite a long time to catch my third brownie. Uh, we made a little jump there, and now we're using a lure. And here is another rainbow trout. We're still in area one here, by the way. It's another rainbow. Uh, each of the seven species, you can tell right away when you look at them, they have different looks. So you can see if you've got the one that you need to advance the level, if indeed that's what it is. Uh, one of the guides on the game facts gave some specific areas where you could catch hutchin both in what you're using and in uh and where you are and that's where i caught my first hutchin but the other hutchin was in this area one just with bait just like you saw there with some of the other ones so uh i wouldn't take as uh as for as fact everything that you read on the internet and even when you look at a guide like mine uh most of mine observations are just that they're anecdotal uh, I, I go by what it's available, the manual. I go by what I've seen in the game. There is not a lot of documentation on the algorithms of this game, so we can't for sure say, oh, this is exactly how this mechanic works, unfortunately. I, I left three rainbows in here because I wanted to demonstrate just how common rainbows are. Let's make a little jump here. We're still in uh, area two. In the description of these areas, if you saw at the beginning of the of the level were uh they're pretty nice these are all good the music is very chill it's a bit melancholy actually the music in these levels got kind of a bittersweet 
feel to it. And here you can tell, hopefully, when you're looking at it right away, we've got a different species on our hands here. This is going to be one of those hard-to-find ones. <laughs> so I want to make sure we get this in. Landing these fish is generally not much of a challenge. My catch rate was pretty high, and I don't think that's because of a great deal of skill on my part. So there's a brownie, the first brown trout. You need at least the three. I don't know if you need three of these and the other ones plus the uh, one of each of the other species. You want to catch one of each of the species anyway. And with how uncommon brown trout are, I would dare say that by the time you catch three brown trout, you probably will have also caught at least one of the other species, the lake trout and the white spotted char. Possibly Hutchin, if you're not really looking for it, um, you might bump into a Hutchin and catch it. They are kind of uncommon. By the way, we are in Area 3 now, and the guides online, that was a Hutchin just swimming by, by the way. Um, the guides for this game, that's not what bit, but a Hutchin just swam over, point to this particular area to hook Hutchin. This is a different species called the White Spotted Char. Um, so they're talking about Area 3 on the left side of the screen with a lure is what a one guide said. There's a white spot. It says chair, but it is char. So I had to go by what one guide said, and uh, it was successful for me. So we're here on the left side of the screen in Area 3. I love the, uh, the mountains here in this one. And I'm not sure if this lake is supposed to be in Japan or not, but the Hutchin is a, a native to, like, Central Europe. So I'm not sure where exactly we are in the world here. And here is another species to check off the list. This is the brook trout. This is the brookie. And the rainbows, browns, and brooks are pretty easy to hook. They uh, hook by pretty much the standard way that you're going to hook a lot of fish. They have a pretty short bite time. They're pretty easy to pick up with the lure. The lake trout are a little bit harder. Remember, we're looking for three rainbows, three brownies, three brookies, and three sockeye. Sockeye salmon, I should say. Here we're back to another area. And that in the background there, you saw a sockeye salmon. And here it comes. This is the sockeye salmon. So we're checking this one off too. And I'm not going to show catching all three of each species because I'd like to just demonstrate what each level kind of looks like, how each level plays out. So you know if you've been watching these series. Um, I did spend uh, several hours on this level trying to figure out what I needed and also chasing down some of those uncommon fish was tricky but I did end up getting all seven species unlocked and I did get the three of the target species so we're back in area one using uh, spinning lures again I was changing it up between the bait setup and the lures now that is a lake trout. I wanted to turn my voice off so you could listen and see when I set the hook right there. The lake trout takes the bait, and then they have a couple of seconds delay before they start to turn their body. So you can't hook lake trout too quickly. You have to kind of slow roll these lake trout. So when you see that species coming up to your lure or to your bait, you know you've got to slow roll them. Also, this is another level where getting the better equipment, the better rods, can help you turn some of those bigger fish when they go into that kick animation. So already we are ticking off species left and right in this level. But of course, there's always going to be more to catch. Always more to catch. Here we are back in Area 3 after that elusive Hutchin. And it is another sockeye. So this is another area where you can catch some sockeyes too. The sockeyes are a little bit uncommon, not too, too hard to find, uh, but they are a little bit uncommon. Again, because we don't have access to a full algorithms guide document, we don't exactly see um, how much each thing is worth and you know what the odds are for everything. Everything is just based on observations. So when I say something is uncommon or common, that's what we're looking at. And here we have the elusive Hutchin. This is another one with a slow roll hook set. You've got to really be careful because it'll take it, run with it, and then you set the hook when its body starts to bend. So a little bit like the lake trout. I think the Hutchin also goes by another name uh, called the Danube salmon. Danube salmon because of where it, uh, it hangs out in Central Europe there. The Hutchin. There it is. 
Beautiful. And when I first caught that Hutchin, I was wondering, why haven't I unlocked the uh, the next level? I was confused. And then I took another look and looked around until I saw the Team Hobnob channel in their duo Let's Play. And found out, oh, I've got to get three of those species. But I can tell you it is not three of every species on here because I've only caught two Hutchin during this process. So it's three of these species that looks like in the book. Because when I caught this brown trout here that I have on... That was it. Listen for the jingle. And that should tell you that it's time to move on to the next level. So this is a complex level. It's a big one. You're going to spend a significant amount of time here, but luckily you've got some variety in the gear you're using and the places you're going fishing. The music here is chill, a little bit bittersweet, and one of my favorite levels in the game. If you liked this series of videos, please let me know any way that you can. Comments below, I always love to read those. Thumbs up button if you can. Or you can hit me up on Twitter where I am also active underscore A-T-E. We will see you next time.